Or a Chevy Escalade. Chevy. <sighs> Messed up again. <coughs> Chevy Escalade. <laughs> How's it going, Rednecks? Today I'm going to be hopefully taking the uh, 2007 to 2014 third brake light and installing it on the rear of a 2000 to 2006 Chevy Tahoe Suburban or Yukon. Ultimately, it's going to be going on my Yukon. Now to do this, we're going to need the rear glass off of a 2006 or a Cadillac Escalade from 2002 to 2006 because they have holes in the glass. As you can see, there's no holes in this uh, factory glass. Now I'm going to show you all that, but first, it's 90 degrees out, super humid, and if you take a look, it's super windy out. So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to carry this down into my nice and uh, cool basement. And then we're going to tear these apart and go over what I have in mind. With both pieces of glass down in the basement, I'm going to go ahead and start removing this plastic piece off the 2006 and the third brake light and plastic piece off the Escalade. And then I'm going to go over what tooling was needed to do uh, both of them. And then we'll move on from there and possibly get this installed on the truck and then start mocking up our uh, third brake lights. With everything taken apart I kind of want to go over what I've uh, found so far and the 2006 has uh, three uh, screws holding it in and they are about 36 and a quarter apart from each other I guess on center but uh, they required a number two square bit as well as they were uh, glued along the top edge here and as you've seen I was trying to use uh, 30 pound test line fish string and I cut quite a ways it was cutting all the way up to about there and then it was becoming extremely difficult so I just brute forced the rest of the way as for the Escalade the third brake light came off with a number two Phillips through the three holes and then there were two more on each side and here's the uh, screws for the third brake light and then this is a little one that was along the edge there. And then on top of that, the edge was uh, taped along the top and along the bottom. And then if you take a look, the spacing for the screws is a little bit narrower by about half an inch. This one is 35 and 3 quarter. Now for anyone that wants to remove the 07 to 2013 third brake light, the screws right here, there are two screws that are 10 millimeter nuts. And then there were um, three along the other edge of the glass that were T25s. And these are 44 and a half inches on center, where the other ones were around 36. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do to mount this yet. But I'm going to probably end up doing a little bit of off camera figuring out. And then I'll get back to you. 
All right, Rednecks, after uh, playing around with them in the basement for quite a while, I realized I'm not going to be able to do it without the uh, roof line being there. I don't know where to uh, set the third brake light, how far on the uh, glass to set it. So I got the Yukon here, and I got the Tahoe. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the Escalade glass in the Tahoe, put the whole 6 glass in the Yukon, and then I'm going to try and sort out which one's going to work better while they're on the vehicle, and then we'll get to mounting. So what do I say while it's still uh, right out? I uh, show you guys how to remove the rear glass and the uh, third brake light. All right, with the uh, rear wire disconnected, we're going to get to the struts. But first, what I want to do is I want to show you there is a little clip up in there. I'll try and take my pick and point it out. That's that guy right there. If you can see that. And what it is, it's, it's, it looks like this right here. It's a little E-clip. So what you're going to want to do is take your pick, get caught up on one of the edges, and try and get that thing out. Now when you're removing this little thing, make sure you take it easy because it's pretty easy to lose this. It can come shooting out and it'll go anywhere underneath that uh, trunk lid there. So uh, yeah, take it easy. Keep an eye out for that thing because uh, they're easy to lose. Well, I guess you can teach an old dog new tricks because uh, I actually opened up the hatch to try and grab the other uh, E-clip. It actually fell into the uh, trough up down in here. Now look at that. With the uh, rear gate open, you can actually get to that clip as well. So hopefully I'll have an easier time showing you guys how to remove that one now that I have uh, more workspace. So there you go, after you undo both your uh, struts, if you take a look, there's little uh, pins right here, and they're all facing the same direction. And all you gotta do is take the glass and slide it off, carry it over to a safe location. As far as the brake light goes, all you need is a Phillips head screwdriver. There's uh, two screws, you remove them, pull the grommet out, disconnect your third brake light, and then we're ready to install the uh, next glass. Now the Yukon glass should be pretty easy to remove. All I have to do is undo both struts, pull the glass off because the Eclipse are already removed as well as the third brake light. Unfortunately, that is it for today. It's already getting pretty dark out. Just from the looks of it though, I really like how the 06 glass works, so I'm going to start leaning towards trying to use that. And uh, obviously if that don't work out, then I'm going to have to start working on the Yukon. One of these two glasses are going to have to work, so I guess tomorrow will be another day and we'll uh, go from there. Well, Rednecks, it's the uh, next day, and I did a little bit of screwing around, and I got the one on the Yukon, which is the 06 glass, mounted with one screw. And I want to try the same thing here with the Escalade glass. So first things first is I need to remove all the hardware off the 2007 to 2014 uh, third brake light. Alright, so you can see on the Yukon I ended up removing the uh, rear third brake light to show you why it's not going to do or what I did here is not going to work on this one. 
you take a look at the middle hole here that I would you that I was uh, utilizing it's way lower on the glass if you imagine the glass coming across right here it's quite a ways down and if you come over to the escalade glass the third break or the third hole is way up here where the other one has a cutout all along here so how I am utilizing the middle hole on the third brake light on here is I move the clip all the way to the bottom of this hole right here. So normally your bolts would actually go through, let me grab one, it would go through right here. Well if I move that clip all the way to the bottom, I want to start the threading and then use up all the slack and then tighten it down. I can install that uh, bolt on that glass. So what do you say? I show you how to do that quick a sec. And then we're going to go to the Escalade one. I'm going to show you what I came up with for that one. Now with that one, if I end up going that route, I am going to 3D print a spacer so I can tighten that bolt down so it won't uh, vibrate loose. And then I would recommend just taping the bottom and then double side taping the top. And that light will be pretty secure. Now for the uh, Escalade glass, I ended up putting the third brake light on there. And if you take a look, I put a marker through the hole in the glass here. So I put, I put it on there where I wanted it. I put the third brake light up, put a marker through the uh, hole where the bolt would go, and it put a mark right there. So what I'm going to end up doing is drilling that out, and then I'm just going to take the clip, flip it around, and push it through, and hopefully I'll be able to bolt there. I did also mark the uh, other two holes, and they ended up right here on these, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to utilize them yet, but I'm going to drill this first and get started with just that. Red next let's uh, hope that works I ended up taking this clip right here the factory one and I just cut that edge off because it was unfortunately not fitting in here because the uh, curvature of this was uh, too uh, tight in there so with that uh, drilled out and the uh, clip on there what do you say we uh, try to install that thing on the Escalade uh, glass Well, Rednecks, unfortunately, the uh, screw is not long enough to reach the threads. So what I'm going to end up doing is taking one of these clips that are installed this way, flipping it around, because if you see, they got a nub on them where the threads go in. And I'm hoping that with that nub sticking out, I'll be able to grab the threads. It's going to be less ideal because it's going to be trying to pull this spring clamp apart instead of using it as like a washer. So what do you say we get this thing flipped around and we try that? Well, Rednecks, after looking them back and forth for a while, I think I'm going to end up going with the uh, Escalade glass, and there's uh, two reasons for that. One being the glass is going to have five points of bolting this thing on, and uh, two, I think it looks more rugged. If you take a look at the Yukon, the third brake light is kind of sloped down, where the Escalade glass is almost straight off the uh, back. And I'll do a side profile here. You can see the uh, Yukon one's kind of sloped, and then the Tahoe one comes more straight back. Not only that, but the Escalade glass is way more easy to come by versus the uh, 06 glass only. So I don't really care for it. I think I like this one more. It looks more rugged, and it's going to be tougher. So when I'm off-roading, I'm not going to lose it. I could try and uh, put the other two in there, but I'm not even going to bother. Like I said, I like this way more, so I'm going to pursue with this one and see what we can do to get all five screws in it.
Man oh man rednecks, I'm done fighting with that thing. These uh, stock screws just are not long enough, so I'm going to have to go find some other ones, so I'll get back with you uh, when I figure out what I'm going to use. Well rednecks, it didn't take me long and I found a bolt and uh, actually a plastic washer as well that's going to work for you guys. And it is uh, quite surprising how easy this actually is going to be. So first things first, while you're at the junkyard, grab three of these. These are actually the roof rack bolts and it uses a T25 Torx, same as the uh, rear third brake light off the 07 to 14. And then you pop the hood and you remove one of these guys. Actually, you want three of those guys as well. The inner fender ones are different. This one right here is an inner fender clip. And this one right here is a radiator shroud. And if you look, it has a lip on it. Now what's surprising about that is this fits very good in there with very little play. So what we're gonna do next is you take and chuck a drill bit in your drill, set it in reverse, and then drill that out. With that drilled out, you're gonna wanna cut the tab that goes from one side to the other. I've already done it on this one. And then you take your roof rack bolt and you slide it through. Not that you necessarily have to, but these are actually an M6 um, thread pitch on your bolt. I ran a tap down it because there is a uh, sealer on there from the uh, factory, and that kind of knocks it down. And as you can see, I already have my two outside ones in, and all that's left to do is the middle. Man oh man rednecks, I'm actually quite shocked at how easy this was to install on this Escalade glass. And as you can see, I can even open the rear window with this thing. It is solid. Now there's still two things we need to do. We need to wire this third brake light in, and we need to cut the edge of this trim here, or the edge of the uh, brake light, because it's interfering with the uh, D-pillar. So what do you say we get my uh, grinder and we try to grind this corner off? And then we'll uh, wire in the third brake light. So for this corner, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my grinder and I'm going to try and line it up with the uh, crack that's between the glass and this D-pillar post. And then I'm just going to try and cut that piece right off. Well, there you go. That was pretty simple. Obviously, it don't look the greatest. There's a little bit of an edge here. If you're going to do some body work, obviously, while you're filling this in, you could take care of that. But for me, I don't think you're going to hardly ever see that. And this is obviously going to be more uh, concerning than that. So I'm not going to worry about either one. But what do you say now we get this thing removed? We get that third brake light wired in. Man, oh man, rednecks, you cannot make this stuff up. They actually use the same plug-in on the old third brake light as the new third brake light. So all you need to do is take a screwdriver, pop it out right here, and this, is, this goes to your vehicle end, and then that goes to your third brake light. And the uh, new harness, this goes to your third brake light, and this goes to your vehicle. So we just pop that guy in. And I'm not going to do it just yet, but that will plug in. Because what I need to do first is feed this through that hole right there. And we'll have to see if this grommet for the uh, old glass on the 07 to 2014 will fit through the Escalade, which I'm guessing it's not going to. We're going to have to modify this just a little bit, but I tell you what, this is pretty easy so far. So I quickly changed my mind and I decided what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Cadillac Escalade wiring that was uh, to the third brake light, this one right here goes through a hole in the vehicle right here. And then the other grommet goes through the glass. So what all I need is this piece from here to here, and I'm gonna install that right here on the 07 to uh, 2014 wiring. So I need to take all this tape off, feed that one off, and then feed this one on.
Well, there we go, Rednecks. Got it all wired up, got it all bolted up. All that I need to do is put my clips in and pretty much put my wires for my uh, rear heat uh, unit on. I'm not gonna do it on this one because the old glass is going right back on. And uh, I'll get a night nice shot of that third brake light. I'm pretty sure it's gonna look pretty cool. And uh, other than that, if this video takes off, maybe I'll do a video on the uh, 06 glass and figure that one out. But for now, I'm happy with this. I like how it looks. And that is definitely going to look good on that thing. So, All right, Rednecks, it's actually been a few days, and I forgot to go over a few things, and I noticed that when editing this video, and one of them was cost. The third brake light at LKQ was only $12, and the rear uh, glass was about $22 to $23, making this only a $40 uh, build. And I got to say, it looks pretty good for $40. Bucks. Another thing I wanted to go over was uh, tooling. Beside the pick, flathead screwdriver, and Phillips head, all that was really required was this little kit right here, which I'm going to put a link to Amazon on because uh, it's quite helpful. And if you remove these two bits right here, throw a small ratchet in there, an extension, and then you can close this thing up and you'll always have them with you. So as well as this kit right here, I used a Rivnut gun, and I gotta say, I haven't owned one in ages, and I finally got one, and I gotta say, if you don't own one, go buy one of these. This was only $50 at Harbor Freight, and I used the heck out of it. And then the uh, final thing is you're going to need a tap and die kit. And I think I already went over it. They were just uh, M6 um, bolts that you need to uh, kind of tap or clear up. So the uh, tap and die set does come in handy. You can get away with it. But I would be worried that the uh, rivet nuts would actually have too much friction on them and possibly start rotating in the uh, plastic. And as you can see, I have the rear glass on the Yukon now. I put the stock glass back on the Tahoe because it has my ORV stickers on it. And I take that thing off-roading quite often. I also ended up uh, finishing up trimming this side because the Tahoe didn't have this plastic piece on it. So I wanted to wait till it was on here to finish that up. And I guess the uh, last thing I want to go over is the uh, rear wiper blade actually hits the third brake light right here. So I don't know if I'm going to have to get a shorter blade for it or if I have to get a shorter arm. I don't use it that often, but here's a picture of it on the uh, Tahoe. I was driving back on a rainy day, and I just so happened to run the rear wiper blade and it hit. So that's going to be something I have to work around. But without further ado, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and get back to work.